which chargers will recognize and DC fast charge a Harley Davidson live wire? We're about to find out. Our first stop, EVgo. I've got Rachel along with me. Hello. On, on her Honda Rebel, which is not electric. Uh, we haven't found an electric motorcycle with a low enough seat height yet. Correct. I've had this live wire for a week shy of two months, and in that time I've put on 1,103 miles. In that 1,103 miles, I have only ever charged at home. Uh, very seldom off of the EVSE that came with the bike, but most of the charging has come off of the wall box that we have installed at our house, which is a level two EVSE for our Bolt and our Fiat 500E. This uh, motorcycle does not have an onboard level two charger, so it only charges at level one speed off of that wall box. In the event that I may want to road trip this and take it a, a bit more distance, I need to see how it handles DC fast charging. And before I bought the bike, I had uh, done some research that commented on some charge networks not wanting to work with the live wire, but I couldn't find out which ones would and which ones wouldn't. So I'm going to do a series of videos over the summer testing out DC fast charging uh, through different charging networks. And the first one that we're going to is right here in this parking lot of this Cracker Barrel. And it is an EV Go right there. So I'm at this EV Go by a Cracker Barrel and next to a Chili's. And I think even though it's in the parking lot of the Cracker Barrel, we're closer to the entrance of the Chili's. This is Everly. And this is an ABB charger. This is old school. It's got a, a 50 kilowatt Chatamo, a 50 kilowatt Tesla plug or NACS. We might, you know, think that's handy uh, in, a, in a few months when we get our, char our adapter for our Bolt. Uh, and of course the 50 kilowatt CCS, and that's what we're gonna use. Gonna open my EVgo app, closest charging station. I'm standing right next to it. it. Says it right here at the Cracker Barrel. Boom. There we are. Everly. It says it's available, so I'm gonna grab the plug and let's head over to the bike. Set my phone down here on the saddle. I've got my charge port open. Gonna open up the CCS flap and then plug it in to the bike. It's registering on the screen. I've got the green, yellow, and red uh, lights uh, there, and it's saying an estimated time to fill. Do the CCS and start uh, hit start charging on the app. I just got a click out of the machine. It says that the charger is preparing. Let me take a look at what the screen is saying back here. I'm getting a message from EVgo on the screen that says it is connecting to my vehicle. And there we go. It has started the charge session. I'm at a very high state of charge right now. It would be best to do this if I had my charge a little lower, but I decided to make this video last night and had already partway charged the bike on the, at home. So this is just mainly to see if it connects. So we're only going to be connected for a few minutes and then we're going to head on about our day. Right now, my charge speed, it is getting 12 kilowatts, which if I've read correctly, is close to the, is, is pretty good for a live wire. Uh, we're already up to 79%. And let's, let me take a look at the bike over here. Estimated time to full, 23 minutes. My battery temperature, looks like that says 89. I don't have my reading glasses on. Does it say 89? 84, uh, 89. 89 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so that that's a way that I can monitor the battery temperature is just on my rider display. Uh, I'm, I'm getting information on the app that says 79% uh, state of charge. I've gotten you know almost two tenths of a kilowatt hour. I'm getting a speed of 12 kilowatts. So made the connection. It started charging the bike. Um, on my, our EVgo account, our Chevy Bolt is set up to be the car that these chargers recognize and it starts charging automatically. Since this isn't the Chevy Bolt, I needed to do input on the app for it to work. But as you can see, you can check EVgo off on your list of Livewire 
road trip planning if you can come across an EV go station uh, with one of these DC fast charging uh, towers at it it will connect and will charge the live wire now we just have to see <laughs> if it will disconnect and I think we've been plugged in long enough we're, we're up to 80 percent this is a connection test not a time to full test so let's stop the charge and see what happens when we do that I'm gonna keep my app open and I'm gonna hit, go under the screen. It's very bright out here, so sorry for the glare. And tap on stop session, initialize it, initialization error, check connection with your vehicle. Okay, plug in to get started. Well, now I'm gonna say that it's done. I'm now getting on the screen estimated time to fill 55 minutes and these green and yellow lights on the side are not going up and down, so it's not charging. So the only question now is gonna be, will it unlock? So I'm gonna push the button at the top of the controller and it unlocks. So there we go, final check on the list of will EVGO charge the live wire? Yes, it will. It will recognize the bike, it will connect, it will start charging, you can stop charging at your discretion and it'll unlock easily from the motorcycle. EVGO down, we've got several other charging networks to go. Look for those in future videos. Thanks for watching. So good. Yeah. Looks like we wrapped up that charge just in time as we on, as we were hanging the thing up a Volkswagen ID4 plugged in and was needing to charge. So we're not in his way and we're going to go. Don't worry about Rachel's Honda icing this spot. It's not like another car could fit in there anyway, right? Right, exactly. Okay. Now we're done. Bye.